Well, came to the beach for the weekend. Uh, figured I'd get a few moments away from all the chaos around the country and turn the news off. And Well, the beach is chaos now. You got thugs everywhere, weed smoking going on everywhere. Can't really do nothing in this country anymore without a group of thugs and uh, drugs all around you, know, violence. Um, I was here about an hour before I saw a violent act take place and three males run different directions, hopping fences and shit to get out of here um, before the cops got to them. Um, which me being the law-abiding citizen I am, I pointed the cops right in their direction. Go get them thugs. Take them. Take them. Get them. We don't need people like that in our society. Um, I know right now with the media and everybody being afraid to say what's right, um, people won't say that, but I don't give a shit. I'm going to say what's right. I don't care. Okay? There's nothing anyone can take from me that's going to make me bow down and get on my knees or anything. I don't, and I know there's a lot like me, so I'm not even sweating anymore. I, I, I feel like this. We get pushed too far, the government will hear us. They won't have a choice to um, that, that being said, you know, my little girl's like, Daddy, put up your chains. No, I'm not putting up my chains. Come take my chain. See where it ends you up. My block's going to tell you right quick like you ain't getting shit from me. Um, all you thugs, all you people out there that think that y'all run this country, you're going to find out different. You're going you're gonna to find out different quickly. Keep playing with fucking law-abiding, working-class taxpayers, and shit's gonna get bad. And then, hey, don't say I didn't want it. Right now, I know so many people, law-abiding, working-class taxpayers. You know what they're spending their paychecks on? They're buying guns. They're buying ammo. They're reinforcing their homes. They're reinforcing their doors. They're doing things to get ready in the event that we have to protect ourselves. We will be ready. Um, it's a shame we have to take the money that we put in this work for us to spend it on our families and we have to prepare for what might go down. You know, I, like nobody else, want to harm anyone. I, don't, I have no qualms with anyone. I have no beef with anyone. But if you don't have your shit together and you think you're going to come take from me and my family? Nah, probably not. Make an attempt. I'm not sure how it's going to go. It might go in my favor, it might go in your favor, but I guarantee you I'm not going to just hand my shit over. Um, if, you, if you live by the right principles, you go to work every day, you work hard, you pay your taxes, you do what you're supposed to do, you take care of your family, you take care of your responsibilities, you try to build a better future for yourself. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, purple, yellow, green, or fucking orange. If you do the right shit, you can make it in this country. You can do very well in this country. Um, the first, I don't know, I consider my adulthood starting at about 13 because I was... At the time, a little thug, I, I wanted to run around um, doing all the shit all the other little thugs did because where I grew up at. Um, hell, I'm straight from the trailer, you know. Um, I know what, make the trailer park trash? I, I don't know what you would call me. Um, my family didn't have money. They, my parents were very good parents in some aspects. Um, they didn't have a lot of money, but they always had my back. They always told me right and wrong. They always gave me consequences for my actions when I did it. When I got too out of control for them to handle, when I was too big, at that point they stepped back. They said, son, we love you. We'll get you out of jail, you know, if we can. We'll, we'll try our best to help you get on the right path. But if you don't choose it, you're going to end up ruining your life. You're not going to have anything. That being said, I woke up. I had finally had a child, um, a great marriage, a great woman. I lost her to cancer, but it changed me. It made me grow up. It made me be responsible. Um, 
and it made me look at the world differently. I was no longer just out there doing shit by myself. I was I had a family to provide for. I think that's one of the major problems in this country is that the family unit has been destroyed. Um, it's like Christianity, they're trying to destroy it like right now. Go tear down monuments, burn buildings, loot buildings. But you can't go to church. You go to church, you're doing something wrong, bro. That's bullshit. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep posting these videos. Don't give a shit who likes and who don't like. But I hope that I can reach other Americans like me. Um, that work hard, do the right thing. And hopefully, over time, maybe someone will get the message and, and we can actually start coming together and having a voice in this country. Because if we don't, even though we pay all the bills in this country, even though we pay for the government, if we don't come together and have some kind of voice, we're going to lose. we we'll lose our country, our freedoms, everything. Um, and I'm worried, you know, about my daughter and her generation, my nieces, my nephew, um, my family in general. I'm very worried about what can be taken from us because we're at a point where stuff can be taken from us. And like I said, I grew up in a trailer. Um, was eventually, you know, moved into a double line. Right now, I have over 800 credit score, which I started with nothing. Um, I have a great job. I can sign my name, get any house I want to. I, I know I've already been approved for like a $325,000 house. I still live in a baby lot. Um, I, I don't, I don't like to put myself in a position to where I owe out everything I make. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not one of those guys. Um, I've got access to hundreds of thousands of dollars of credit. I use nothing. I carry zero balance on any of that shit. And if I can start off in a trailer with no money and work my way up, anybody else can. Because trust me, I have more runnings with a lot of a lot of people. And you know what I did? I said, yes, sir. I said, no, ma'am. I went into court. I gave my side of it. I went through due process. And I beat the charges. Okay? I didn't beat the charges because I'm white. I beat the charges because I never started no shit. I never tried to ever take from anyone else. I never did anything like that. The shit I was in, if somebody came at me and attacked me, well, I attacked back. Um, which is what all of us as Americans should have the right to do. That being said, right now I came to the beach to enjoy it a little bit. The beach is still beautiful. Um, the thugs running around everywhere or not. Have a nice day.